Um, I'm Hegu Yang. I'm, I was born uh, 90, 90, no, 1971 in Korea, in Seoul. Um, I have studied art um, in Korea at the National University at uh, Fine Art College. After I graduated uh, college in Korea, I went to Germany and the, my second school in Germany was in Frankfurt. So I studied there from 94 to 99. Um, people ask a lot how I got into art and when does it started. Um, to be honest, I don't know very well about it because I have a very bad memory of my childhood. But I know from my brother that I all the time wanted to be an artist. And um, for some reason, my parents didn't send me to the normal kindergarten. And instead of a kindergarten, I went to uh, uh, art lesson which was a kind of alternative kindergarten and, and cheaper kindergarten. And uh, obviously, that time I already wanted to be an artist. Of course, the, my understanding and definition of art has changed all the time. But obviously, I wanted to be an artist from the beginning. And in the kindergarten, I believe that uh, making a good drawing of camel is about being a good artist. At the college, I believed in something else as a good artist. Now I, I got completely lost. I don't know what is the, the way of being a good artist, but I'm still on my way. There is a book I'm, I'm reading now by the young German philosopher, and he described art and philosophy has something in common, which is an, in, an insist. Like we are uh, working in the field that we insist things and doesn't matter which is true or not, or it's not usually followed by the conform as a process of confirmation. And this, this like quite like empty insist um, is already like the definition of our field, and I quite much agree on it. Ra uh, instead of thinking about what kind of role art would or is playing in a society, um, me as an artist, is m I'm more concerned about what I can insist that art of what I, um, I rather would interest in thinking about um, what role art is playing um, or what we as an artist should insist that art would play in a society. I don't, I don't think I'm so interested in like given uh, function of art or the, the fact what art is doing in our society. I'm primarily concerned about what I can do and what uh, we would insist. It doesn't matter which, uh, if that is true or not. I think the, the, the insist of art without like confirmation would be already a big role to play in our society. Changes in history of art. Um, I think I probably have witnesses, uh, witnessed uh, changes of art in person very little, not so many. And, and um, I think most of things I have followed were indirectly, uh, indirect in experiences like through books and and probably kind of reenactment of historical art. Um, what I found interesting is like uh, rediscovering um, artists who were a little bit forgotten, like Bastianado, who became important figure for younger artists like me, 
has been I don't know if I can use the term rediscovered but like pretty much yeah like reintroduced that we might have to think about it again and there are big demand of like get getting knowing getting know of his work um, this make me think a lot as a young artist that I should probably work in a longer term and things like a history historization is not a like event uh, lying much ahead of me it's very present thing in my mind so history could be like long time ago but it can be taking place right now or taking place like much later but it has took place already and this kind of different level or dimension of time is interesting for me thinking about historical events in art well like firstly I would say like uh, life on Mars doesn't sound so unfamiliar to me uh, not necessarily I have um, any knowledge or understanding of Mars as a as a place to live in but like any place which is unfamiliar sounds unfamiliar or um, uncanny s seems to me very familiar and pretty much I'm, I'm concerned about like what means like territory to me like where I can be based in and this constant questioning of like where to live how to live probably make me not so much wondered about life on Mars <laughs>